Sometimes you identify a structure such as this where you see that the resistance has been broken as in this case you can see this resistance has been broken and you can see the bullish candle closing right above it. You can see how healthy it is. After that, if you notice previously, this there has been a support here in the support you can see after this region was broken you can see price came down found support here it rallied up came down found support and it went back here before it came right here and after that price came tested the same support and broke through so because you see something like this you are thinking of going long you are thinking of going long and your best area the best area you can buy from is around this zone let's say you place your stock around here and you wait for the best opportunity to buy after that you see you can see this rejection candle that that was formed let's say you you bought around here what happens price just see price just rallied in your direction as i have shown you from the previous example sometimes you buy and price just goes in your direction and you end up making profits other times not so much let's look at this take this as an example you can see there is a support here let me draw it out. You can see, you can see this support. Let me get rid of this, and so that you can see it clearly. I'll bring it down a bit. So, above this line, you can see there is support here, and right here, you can see after price tested the support, it was rejected, followed by a bullish candle close. After that, you can see the bearish candle close, which doesn't matter at this point. But if, if you look at it carefully, there is this huge rejection. After seeing this price, price action, you decide that the best thing to do is to buy this position, is to go long. And because you are so sure, you, you, you refuse to put a stop loss. After all, the last time, price never came close to testing your stop loss. So this time around, you decide that the best thing to do is not to use stop loss at all and what happens price actually goes in your favor before it got broken and you can see the watch through because you failed to put your stop loss though price went in your direction a bit before this huge bearish close there was a rally and after that price just wash through because you fail to do a proper risk management and let's say you thought that because you are so confident you thought that you can make so much money let's say your target was away here after this news came out and this deep cut and the wash by the way this happened on november 7 after Donald trump was elected so there are so many things that can spoil your trade data economic data geopolitical news and so many things can just make your trade go in the wrong direction at this time so the best thing for you to do is to always do a proper risk management as you have seen from the given examples sometimes when you open a position the market just goes in your favor and you end up making the bank other times not so much it goes against you and you take a loss but when you fail to set a stop loss like in the second example and the market goes against you especially when you do not do proper risk management like buying a huge loss you might end up blowing up your account so setting stop loss is vital quickly i'm going to show you how to set your stop loss step by step 
The first method we are going to be looking at is how to set a stop loss based on the percentage of your account. If you have a standard account, in a standard account, one pip move is equal to one US dollar. And let's say your account balance is 500 US dollars. And based on your trading pool, you are risking just 2% of your account balance. And 2% of your account balance is $10 and that is equal to just 10 pips. Let's say you are a swing trader and you've identified this reversal setup on Euro USD, the daily time frame. Now, you've waited and now you've seen that price has printed a, a huge bullish rejection and you've thought that this is the best time to go. Let's say can see the resistance here and see price tested it and there was this huge rejection because of that you said you want to take this trade if you waited a bit to see the next candle close you can see the market printed a bullish candle close let's say your entry is just around here just around here and your pip your stop loss is just 10 pips and it's just here so you consider we consider this top as your stop loss and the bottom here your entry so this trade you are selling this pair you are selling this pair so price should come this way now, if you look at it, see the next candle, you can see, let me get rid of this or let me bring it down a bit. You can see this indecision candle. After that, what happens? Price started heading in your direction. So, you can see this is a perfect entry and your stop loss as it is now is okay. You can see, as you can see, price is now heading in your direction. So what do you do? The next thing is to wait for the markets to play out. So we we'll wait. What happens? After that, you can see the next candle after the entry, this bearish candle, you can see this bullish candle which went up and closed around here. After that, what happens? The market printed this bullish candle that went all the way to trigger your stop loss and a head downward. After that, you see this, what happens? There was a wash through. You can see, there was a huge wash through. So, as a swing trader, had the trader set the proper stop loss, he would have made a huge gain because the stop loss was so tight he or she got triggered and this opportunity got wasted it took it made a loss why this trader ought to be making a huge profit so yes he decided that he or she was going to risk just two percent of the account but what was the issue the stop loss was too tight based on the account balance this person opened the wrong account so he would have prevented this if instead of going for a standard account he or she should have looked for a broker that offered micro accounts so risking two percent allows him to just use 10 pips but if the account was a micro account he would have been able to go for go for 0.01 lot and that would have enabled him or her to set a proper stop loss it would have been around here and not this one here so in this kind of situation the best thing to do is to go depending on your account balance if you see that you don't have much money you go for a broker that offers micro lots or 
meaning law depending on your account balance. You have seen the importance of setting stop loss. What's your belief? Do you trade with stop or you trade without using a stop loss? Let us know your thoughts in the comment below. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. If you don't already have, please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so when I publish a video, you will be the first to know. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.